CSU Esports Super Smash Bros. Woo. Tournament. Game two for these people. Uh, today with me, I have Seth. He's actually one of the Smash Bros. players. I believe he's captain for A-Team. Yep, I am the captain for A-Team. I play K. Rule and Snake. And I'm excited to see how things go today. Uh, and we do sincerely apologize if the um, viewing that you're getting is small. And this was the best that we could get. It's oh. a very janky setup, but I'm sure. Um, it does show the full screen. Oh, it does? Yeah, it oh. does. Ours, uh, it does not, but yeah, uh, it, for it, you guys it should. shows all of the stream settings and stuff like that. Good. Yep, so, yep, I think they're getting situated. Getting yeah, we're, we're streaming B-Team right now, right? Yep, we are. Yep, yep, we have uh, B-Team coming up right now. I believe we're just going to be streaming them, maybe one of the other ones later on. Yeah. Starting time is 7 o'clock, 7.02 right now, so it should be getting started pretty soon. This is fun. I've never casted this game. It's very entertaining. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to pop off at some of the stuff that B-Team does, because our B-Team here is kind of kind of crazy, actually. Um, yeah, I remember last week, Philip, um, he's our trivia player, he soloed their entire B-Team. Hopefully we can see another sweep like that. We are hoping. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, if it's, if it's close, to, if it's close too, then that makes it for, a, it's for an exciting game. Dragon Ox is the win again. Oh yeah. If that's what we're really looking for. Um, I ended up casting last week as well. Um, it was Tiff and I from League, and that was a very interesting matchup when you have two people that don't know anything about League. Yeah, I was just about to say I I know nothing about League. Tiff and, Tiff and I went over like a week learning a bunch of stuff just to know about all, it. All the buzzwords. Yeah. The league jargon. I had like a ID.gg like a character stat champion stat and stuff. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> just like off to the side and I was like okay yep. <laughs> um, and then it's like they oh Tiff came up and he was like oh do you want to cast for uh them as well? We'll be playing against. We are playing against. Who is it? Uh, the Skyhawks, I believe. I, I forgot what college it is. But oh wait a minute, it's up there. Yeah, we're playing against the Skyhawks. Uh, we're not completely sure about who um the actual college is. Yeah, I told today you'll learn a lot about Smash. It'll be fun. It it's like a learning game. experience. Seriously. That's how any game is. It's like you're gonna, if you're gonna do something, you might as well learn it as you go. For sure. Yep, so Yep, we've got Sad Boy selecting a character. That's that's gonna be either John or Philip. Sad Boy is Switch. Yeah, it's yeah, it's John or Switch, but it could be either either one of them. Oh. Yep, um, Andrew's aquatic, except he's playing from home today because he's sick. So, hope he feels better soon. But he's still with us oh, eating. Oh, Tiff is playing first. I see, I think somebody typed that in for me. Thank you. Oops, oh. that's exciting. Okay. 
Hello! Yo! We have another person off the Smash team, uh, Casey, joining us as well, so I will have two other people that know Smash a lot better than I do in this room. <laughs> it looked perfect over there, and then you got this. <laughs> like, ooh, all of the buttons to work on the volume yeah. and editing. And then we have our stream chat as well, so it's like I can see that through there, even though it's very small, I can see it. So, I, because Bunny's running it from uh, his computer, so Bunny says hello to you. Oh, hello! Cool up there. Yeah. Like, if I get closer to the mic, does it get like? Louder, like yeah, if, super loud. if you look right here, the sensitivity. <laughs> I had to reroute the stream. You're very sensitive. And you were tickling your pet. <laughs> yeah. It picks up every little sound, so I could just. <laughs> oh, we are currently finding the arena. Finding the arena, it's uh, so exciting. We're getting there. Figured out. I think we had no you other. Know, I already have him in the room with Adam for a half hour, an hour, and then he's just gonna like fuck off because, you know, this people's gonna stay and be there for like another hour. Yeah. And then he's gonna start announcing the events for the half hour, which will be fun and cool and fun and fun. Yeah, I'm trying to get in touch with Hayes. Team Captain, you need to be taking stuff down by now. Team Platter, Team Virgin, I'm like, hey, it can't get to you guys on Monday, can we go back to Monday? Which, I mean, that's fine. You can leave messages, I'm not gonna see it, and I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I'm like, now I'm very hyper aware of like, email, messages from new people, just in case, because I have like, that stupid message thing that I don't want. Are you captain for the season? Yes, yes. Okay. okay. Yeah, so, so we have two captains in here. Yeah, I, di I didn't realize you were keeping captain with Austin. Oh, yeah. I was about to say, I thought that you were, and I was just like, I gotta double check. Just because I'm still like, trying to figure out who is who. So I, I know most of the Smash players, but it's, I'm still learning like where you guys are on the team. Well, we are joining the in arena right now. Woo. Step into the ring. There we go. Oh. oh. There we go. Let's see what's in stream. Pip is going to be playing first. So our uh, B team uh, player Philip, aka Pip, he's going to be playing first on uh, Bad Boys, and then uh, Skyhawk or yeah, Skyhawk. I don't know why I didn't say your thing. Will be playing with us as well. Smash is kind of self-explanatory, unless you want to get into like. <laughs> yeah, when it gets into like some of the text. <laughs> yeah, that's when it's like. You'd be like, oh, you know. You're so bad. <laughs> It'd be so sad. Oh, you need to be serious, but yeah, I know. Uh, Ken Kendrick was thinking about playing Ken today, but um, mm -hmm. yeah, some of the some of the online inputs are definitely hard to hit, just because. Yeah, he loves Nintendo Online. Yeah. He was a world I got. I know that, is it each of you has a main and then a backup, or do you guys just go and choose? Um, usually, because there's so many characters, a lot of Smash players will stick to, like, a main and a secondary, but there are a lot of people who can also just play a bunch of different characters, depending on matchup. Kendrick? Like, yeah, um, Kendrick is a prime example of that. Match is about to start. Alright, it looks like I saw it's Kirby and a Link. Pip is playing Kirby, and we're versing a Link from Skyhawk. Two, I wonder how that's going to go. Because the Kirby Link matchup's not one that I know a lot about. Um. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Philip. I don't know, they just dropped it. It just dropped down like that, but Pip was playing. Yeah. I don't know why it was so long. Okay, my dad's going to be pissed off. Yeah. Nobody does that on Smash Bros. Yeah, I would. Yeah, well, um, he's not on the wrong main bench. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. There, I think it was just a button check because they're, uh, 
So good game one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that game was going to the Skyhawks game. That would not have been a good game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bad game one. <laughs> yeah, I thought the Utes tied with a uh, one score apiece. They really have that there, and if they tie, it's going to be interesting. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. Alright, what do we do? <laughs> the parents aren't watching the stream, it's okay. <laughs> it's nice, you don't have to worry about Skyler. No. Right, so it looks like they're going to start the first match again. <laughs> or, well, <laughs> the actual first match, we'll see what happens. So it looks like they'll just be on one side. <laughs> in bunny during the stream, so bunny is doing the right thing with this little question. <laughs> what is a tip question? Oh, you free to play Overwatch tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is bunny. Oh. Dang it. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of Overwatch, Overwatch 2 is coming out, I think, today. Today at noon is, like, the... Tomorrow. Or tomorrow at noon? Four. Yeah, tomorrow. Um, I meant for the Over one, or Overwatch 1 servers this afternoon. Yeah, because they didn't yeah, serve it 24 yeah. hours without Overwatch 1. <laughs> Overwatch no longer exists. They still have offline. They, they're depressing. Yeah, fair. For all of you, they're depressing. Yeah. I'm excited for 2. Uh, I think I'm going to download this one, though. Even though I may not have all the much space in my laptop. I need it! <laughs> yeah. It doesn't want 50 gigs online, though. I don't know. I don't get my I think we have Mesh starting. We are Link and Kirby. I'm excited. Alright, so it is a Link and Kirby match. Link and Kirby. I wonder how Luke's gonna do this one, because I know uh, Kendrick played a little bit of Link for a long time. So looking at both of these, are these more light characters, or are they considered heavy? Uh, Kirby like is more of a lightest in the game. Link is on the heavier side, but he's around
Link would have hexed there, he would have gotten spiked even without the tech. He probably actually had to accidentally be over a slow as well to push him out further. Probably. I love the way that fill up the space in these. Tip is doing very well. Oh, for people wondering uh, why that number at the top was changed, that is just to keep track of like the stocks. So each team, each player gets three stocks. Each team is gonna have a total of nine. And at the beginning of each game, it's like so if in this one, if Kirby is to beat Link, Link's gonna be completely out, or that player's gonna be completely out, and then we'll have Tip. When if he goes on to the next person, he will lose a stock, so he'll only have two stocks left. And Pip is playing this really nicely. Yes, absolutely. He forced the high recovery there. Yeah. If he can steal a stock without losing one, that's going to be huge. Ooh. Ooh. That up tilt was really smart. That would be like just down. Ooh. Oh, the Kirby lightweight coming out of the ball. That's true. There he goes. There we go. Philip nice keeps job, two stocks. Tip. Yeah, that's gonna have a really, really good lead, actually. That is very nice. Yeah, because Philip was at like what, like 112 percent or something like yes, that. Yes, he was. Yeah. I think 116. About. Yeah. E either way, high 100. That all just gets erased. He just starts fresh with two stocks. Yes. And so that that creates a huge lead. Absolutely. Yeah, because now they have to. Di now the other team has to dig through almost an entire player. More mm -hmm. than what they would normally have to. It's generally the goal for players to take at least three of these stocks. That yeah. usually puts you in a good position. But yeah, my it. my goal number is four when it comes to mm -hmm. like so when I'm doing your battles because it's like if you could take four, you are like you're just, you're just putting yourself ahead. Mm. I was gonna say that's usually a good mentality for starting to end game through. Is if you can take four stocks and you've done well middleman, it's just good to even out stocks and just take the three between each other. Because yeah. if you do that, then the game's still in neutral, and if you're already above, you're already ahead. Yeah. Well, the thing is, too, like, just take the most stocks possible. <laughs> I was say, if you usually that go is through true. that. Yeah, it'd be like Philip last time and just sweep their entire team. That, that's basically how, like, I know how, like, Smash is. It's try to get as much damage and try to take as many stocks as you can. That's basically how I have it, like, in my head. And then, obviously, you have, like, a lot, when you get into, like, deeper... Uh, stats wise, or like. Wait one second. I gotta go look at Kate's um, profile real quick. Okay. Got it. Yeah, when you sit there and you go into more of like a statistical way of looking at Smash, it's more. You got like your characters and your matchups and that stuff. Ooh, we got. Yeah, seriously, with like. Because Smash has like 84 characters, something like Hero. that. I, I should honestly know this number. Kirby Hero, that's gonna be exciting. I'm gonna yeah. take a guess. Is hero kind of like the link where it's like a middle uh, in the middle for light and heavy character? Yeah, hero hero is actually quite similar to link in some ways, um, except hero's projectiles are a lot more flashy, and he has a lot more options. Yeah, hero can be very unpredictable because his down BD is a menu. Yes. That you can just select a move from, and there's like 31 different moves that it can pick from. Kind of like a out. Similar. Uh, yeah, similar. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like Hero's menu, like that right there, that's yeah. one of the best projectiles in the game. Uh, yeah, kaboom, it literally vacuums people into it, and then you get nuke for it. Oh, he has the... Kento. Oh, yeah. Powered up his attack. That does a lot. Yeah, he was hoping that Philip can take this take a stock. Except this hero is just applying a lot of pressure. Yep, hero's definitely keeping his distance and just kinda using menu. I mean it's the it's the game plan though. Yeah, Philip's trying to get the up smash. He is, you're through. Ooh, that was almost true. Yeah. Yeah, Puff is trying to get this stock, except Hero's making it super tough. 
we have Kirby and Kirby. Oh, that was way too close for comfort for a shield break. He lost another stock. This one's also getting for pretty good stuff. It was, it was pretty good. Well, Philip with a fast recovery. Not Philip. Hero with a fast recovery. Stage. Yeah, probably. Yeah, because if Philip's gonna take two stocks, he's gonna have to cheese. Hey! There's a stock! Yeah, Philip can cheese this He doesn't get snoozed. So, I know Hero is one of the characters that Kirby can stuck cuck off stage. You can yeah. Still out of it. Full Kirby stuck in cuck. <laughs> As you'll know, he is planned here in a little bit. Yeah. Probably in a convention. I feel like right now he's just trying to play as patient as possible. Go underneath all of the hero moves. Cause he's right up by his face. He's, he's trying to time it as evenly as possible so he can actually land like an attack. Yeah. Cause otherwise, if he does that, almost oh, that might kill. Oh, never mind. Up throw would have. Oh, I didn't get the first cycle. Oh, uh, it was one of them. One one of the things that just makes balloon characters go pop. Also. Oh. Dude, yes! Good stuff from Puff. Still going great, Train. Oh my. He's at. Oh. Doing. A Kirby lift it's okay. at 163. If he doesn't get hit, if he doesn't get hit, he's fine. Oh, never mind. Yeah, the re grab cost it, but holy moly. Five. It hardly looks like. <laughs> That's okay, he brought him down to one stock, so the next person who's gonna have fresh three stock only has to go through one with him. For sure. Which is very good. Funny, so. I don't mean to like brag on you, but it's supposed to be 6 4. <laughs> yep, it is 6 4. Yeah, it's 6 4, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> 65 4. <laughs> yeah, 65. <laughs> okay. I mean, 65 stock. You guys are lucky then. Oh yeah, <laughs> the world. It's got a lot of it's got a lot of one ups. Ba da 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 da. <laughs> Back in the original Mario with the uh, with shell. Yeah. Stage. I feel like every Mario game has one of those like infinite one up exploits. I will say Mario 3D World is fire though. There's 3D a World? lot you gotta kind of put into that. Uh, there was there was okay, one, there was one spot in particular. Yeah, it was um, the under. It wasn't even the underground, actually. Uh, there was one spot that I found. It was, I think, World 1, third level. Something like that. There was this little spot. It was next to a waterfall. You can just kind of... Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was like, I found some hard spots. Think, I think you had to high jump for it, but... Yeah. Also, I haven't played that game in forever, so it might not even be the right level, but... <laughs> it's like, been a while since I played yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, so I have a feeling we'll probably be sending out Andrew next with him going into the stance pick. Yeah, because Aquatic is selecting right now. Aquatic is selecting right now. That means that we have Andrew. Once again, as Seth said earlier, he's playing from home right now because unfortunately he has become less sick. He is also absolutely goaded. Yes. Um, <laughs> Captain Falcon. Here. Yes, sir. Falcon. I don't think I've seen Andrew play Captain Falcon. Not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, it's it's his main, and he does it really, really well. Aggressive when he needs to be, and will be patient when he needs to sit back. He's also sure. having a lot of fun lately, is what I've been noticing. He likes to cut combos early and just hard punch any air dodge. Dude, yes, that that is a really good, like, up, like, it's a good thing to do that not enough people do. Like, it's okay to give up a combo if you can just, like, smite someone at, like, 60 for it. It's gonna be quite interesting. Oh. Because if I'm guessing, Captain Falcon's probably a heavy character. Um, he's closer to heavy than a lot of the other ones. I think he's like 15th heaviest, something like that. Uh, 15th? Uh, Andrew definitely knows this, but uh, I want to say he's yeah, Andrew, is, Andrew is a, like, guru when it comes to this game and just, like, overall knowledge for it about, like, hyper specific things. The dude does his research. He's trying for these hard, hard kills. Oh, oh that's <laughs> a. Hero, Go air dodging in. in. Yeah, not not the play against Captain Falcon. Captain Falcon will just yeah, I don't know. Up smash is like one of my biggest complaints with that character. <laughs> the thing is like a black hole. 
uh, was if you hit both feet at the top, instead of doing just the usual 19%, it does 24 with almost like a point, what is it, like a 1.2 increased knockback. So yeah, within those situations like that, you definitely want to turn dodge away from uh, yeah. Falcon. The most we can do, we can run forward and maybe grab you. Uh, that hero in that case probably gonna air dodge up on the ledge. Plenty, up on the yeah. Three stuck. Yep, so six three. But Andrew probably would have came back with the up air chain. For sure, yeah. Andrew, Andrew was definitely going for like aggressive Captain Falcon stuff there. But I mean, in the end, it worked out. I was worried with that first down air that he ran off for. He was going. To die. He was going to die, but here the hero up B, the little tornado, is what saved him there. Yeah, except uh, he he's one to learn pretty fast when it comes to that kind of stuff. Um, I don't feel like he's going to play it as aggressive this next game because it's like, yeah. He might first stock and then we'll slow back down. Unless he just gets that zero death or oh, crispy. But right. Yeah, he, he might go for that. Like, oh yeah, we got stocks to spare. I'm just going to, you know? Yeah, the last. <laughs> one thing I've noticed in this playstyle, if he ever gets a zero to death, he's into it and going in afterwards. Dude, You're yeah. not going to stop him. He's momentum based. Player and character. Dude, yes. It's the Falcon spirit. <laughs> Show me your moves. That's our that's our spirit. We love it. Anyone watching, uh, if you have any friends that are into uh, any of the esports people or anything get them to come and watch this please Woo! uh Equals. our last uh game for the league on friday when we had uh people casting for it which was tip and i actually uh we had 86 views on it today for people that watched it after it was done holy we had 86 people viewing it so that's exciting get people to come watch it now and right or after what's up actually it hopped up to 88 or like a day 88? Uh, i was gonna check and see Oh, you just go back. Right. Because, I mean, yeah, I ran the spectator thing, but I mean, I wanted to see what you guys generally had to say, because, like, I was listening half the time with you guys. Funny. But, yeah, smashes on this one. The others were trying to get to go into the other one, and that's SVSU Cardinals. Yep. Through Twitch. Um, I just think that right now, because it's such a janky setup right now, that we can't really do... Any, oh, we have the battle starting. Uh, we just can't really stream through the carnival. Oh, because of the last game. game and watch. watch. <laughs> this is a bad match for Falcon. Yeah, they probably thought that one through. They're like, oh, uh, yeah, we have just a thing for you. What's it with game and watches running in these brackets lately? My is doing pretty well. Yeah, that is true. I mean, he, I mean, he got second at uh, what was it? Uh, tech. I won't. Uh, Lost Tech City, I think it was called. Oh yeah, Lost Tech City. Yeah, yeah, he got second to Mars, except Mars is kind of his bracket demon. But yeah, Zero Suit does kind of tend to go a little bit harder against Game and Watch because yeah, I mean, I mean Game and Watch yeah. does need like losing matchups. <laughs> yeah, um, it's another Pikachu situation. That turnaround. I look at him and I find him to be very. Get the meat. Oh. He's a very weird character, in my opinion. I realize, like, game. That's it's not an unpopular opinion by any means. Oh, Philip, not Philip, Andrew. I was gonna say, Game and Watch is gonna be fishing for a kill, but so is Andrew. Okay, I, I was gonna say he doesn't get hit by those. Two different ways in that comment, buddy. I love that. <laughs> Gets the first stock with that up B. Captain Falcon up B is so good. And Gorilla Grips from half a stage away. Ooh, forward air. That's okay. That's okay. Still even on stocks. Uh, Bunny, if you want to level that down, it's going to be 5 and 2 on stocks. Un Thanks, Alan. Yeah, the one problem with the Falcon. Game Watch, you know, matchup is Game Watch can just up B out of a lot of our combos, especially our up air combos. We that's that's the thing, yeah, because up B is like frame two on Game and Watch, right? Yeah, that's not okay. Also, thank the Lordy Andrew had a jump there. 
นี้โอ้ Yeah Andrew wants that up B because he knows that it'll kill Game and Watch super early. Yeah Game and Watch I think is even lighter than Kirby. So. Yes. The other thing too about the up B is those send Game and Watch at pretty good angles just to run out in air. I mean, as I love his usage of down B actually. But yeah, go on. Uh, yeah, with Game Watch, how do you usually cover? High in the air dodge, or you know, do an aerial back to stage, so you catch him with an air. Just take a little bit in the hitbox, call it a day. Good patience on the shield on Andrews. And there Ooh. we go. Punishing the down air with a back air. Looks like we might be taking this one home. I may be looking at a tier list to see, like, heaviest to lightest on these. The second heaviest character in the game is. <laughs> Ooh! Applying oh. a ton of pressure there. Ah. Invincibility ran out. Wait, that's the that end of that That's set. one Holy against. Holy. Nice job. Uh, Nicely a... done, SVSU. Yeah, it's a best of three, right? I think. Three or four. Uh, best of three. Okay. Best of three? Cool. So, first of two. Hoo wee! Nicely done, SVSU. Oh, there we go. We have the cheering now. Yeah. I forgot that they're behind. Then. Yeah, yeah there, there's a there's a delay, and we're streaming it here as well. And so there's people watching the stream, and then we're streaming it in here. So it's like we pop off because we won, and then, and like, then behind nine, sec there. nine seconds later, we hear it from the other team like, <laughs> yeah. I see him right there. I mean, I mean, I have that one. Dude, I love Andrew. Aquatic. I should probably use tags. I realize. Yeah. He's the twenty-third heaviest. Screaming. I mean, we've been like doing a mix of them, so I don't know if it really matters. We've been trying to use tags, but it's like if we use it's the game. Famous. Yeah, it's their tags. <laughs> we don't want to release their identity to the world. Oh no. I'm gonna go check and see if there's any reason to also look in there because it sounds like the dude that we're versing just says no. So I'm gonna make sure L. Hopefully they can because he goes on the top of my team. <laughs> but I mean, I'll go check. I just need to put down her so that they can work on it. There you go. I have found Captain, Captain Falcon on the list. <laughs> he is the 23rd heaviest. If I'm correct, yeah. If I'm counting this correctly. I didn't realize there's 20. Oh yeah, there have been some. Yeah. Like. Hmm. He's up here. Right there. Cause he's tied up with like a bunch of them at like 104. Huh. Well, I was, I was, I think I was thinking of Terry's weight instead of Captain Falcon. Yeah, Terry's right here underneath like Bowser Jr. Yeah, cause Bowser Jr. is like 12. Maybe something like that. Something. Bowser, K. Rule, Donkey Kong, DD, B, Ganondorf, Birdsaid, Cinderor, Piranha, Piranha Plant, Samus, Dark Samus, Bowser Jr. Yeah, Bowser Jr. is 16. Okay. And then Terry would be 17. So yeah. I think it's hilarious that Terry is heavier than Ridley. <laughs> Ridley, Space Dragon, Terry, Guy. Average guy that you'd see fighting in the street. I see a. I think it's another hero and another Captain Falcon. That's exciting. I'm excited to see how this. Oh, oh it's Link. Link! Captain Falcon. The thing is, Andrew has some experience as Link, like playing the character. But I'm not sure how he does how he does going against it. So it's it'll be good to see how this goes. Aquatic starting off with the good luck, have fun, followed by <laughs> almost a sick flip. Getting lots of damage though. Wings trying to even out that play as well. However, um, I, I'm gonna take a guess. Link's applying a lot of pressure here. Won't let him get close. Oh, there he goes. Aquatic attempting the up smash. Sometimes people do get hit by those. Woo! I'm trying to see. Okay, so the other guy is SOC purple. Yeah. 
Oh, I'm just gonna oh, I hate Falcon Up B because of how it just like, <laughs> like it's it's good in this case. It's very good in our case because yeah, you know, like, just win. <laughs> like watching that thing just magnet to people, Ooh. like it makes me want to yarf. Go bunny. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, good te oh, he teched it, but then oh. he air dodged. The tech was awesome, though. Especially online, that stuff's hard to do. Still okay. He's still... We are still okay. He still has two stacks. And he's still low. Sick. Their link is pretty good. Buddy, you had it right. You had it right, buddy. <laughs> you had it right. <laughs> Bunny changing the stocks. You had it right at first, honey. Dude, Andrew's Rar is looking super nice. Ops Ooh. Ooh. Seeing that he. So for those of you that don't know what a Rar is, a Rar is a. Uh, uh, I actually forgot what the acronym stands for, but um, it's it's essentially when you do like an instant turnaround back air. Ooh. Up B saves the day again. Oh, we have we must have an even amount of people that are from the previous or the other team as well. So we've got some uh let's go skyhawks in here as well. Oh yeah. Welcome Skyhawks. I see someone saying Andrew hates game and watch. Uh, not an unpopular opinion. <laughs> I'm I'm on that boat personally. <laughs> But I mean, I'm also a little bit biased. I play K rule. You do play K rule, though. Yeah. And your K no, nothing like is running nasty. that minus two. But, um. Ooh, the up is good. Ooh! Okay. Thanks for the good coverage. Yeah, hero, hero spin is a really, really good move. I forget what frame it comes out, but it's pretty fast. Ooh, the spacing was nice on avoiding that bomb. I thought he was gonna get hit by that, but he just stood there, unshielding, unyielding. Yeah, this neutral is really, really nice. This is a very, very intense matchup right here. It definitely is. They're both. And seeing that, and seeing oh, that Andrew. The whip. Oh. Oh. He, wh he whipped the up B and then he tried to cross him up, except Link knew what was up and covered that really well. Yeah, good stuff for the Skyhawks. Yep, so current stocks are 7 6. Skyhawk favor. I need to check in. Oh, Alright, I'm gonna go check in. Um, I'm captain for the A team, but I'm gonna. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so Seth had to go check in his team. A team is going to be playing in just a few moments. Um, uh, Casey has joined me once again, so we still have Smash knowledge in the room. Yep. Uh, if anyone wants to know what Smash A team, they'll be over on the SBSU Esports stream. So you can go find them on there. If you're part of the SBSU Esports Discord, the link is in there for the streaming of Esports. Uh, thank God the dude on C actually said that he was fine with the change at 9 p.m. so I don't have to rush B or try and find a port that works. Thank God. Uh, I tried probably about seven of them in there. Oh my God. Yeah. Was that the same problem that you guys had last week yes, too? Yes, Oh. So... Uh, I'm probably gonna get me or Andrew to talk to Alex and see what we can do about that so it doesn't keep happening. Is it just the Ethernet cables themselves, or is it just because... But what it's saying is that the switches are ha struggling to find the IP address. I don't know what would be causing that situation. SVSU's uh, eSports channel, if you're talking about, is it either Discord or the um, Twitch? If it's the Discord, it's SVSU Esports. If it's the Twitch, it's SVSU Cardinals. Um, right now, obviously, because of the setup that we have, I think we've just had difficulty trying to get the Smash set up for through the SVSU Cardinals, so we've just been doing it here. Kirby and Link. 
Yep. Well, we have Link down to Link one. Link is down to one, so I'm taking a guess that it's Pip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so Pip should hopefully just kind of take the last stock without any issue. That's what she was hoping for. Of course, no problem. Glad to help and answer your guys' questions. Yep, Pip is a Kirby name, so Kirby or Pip is most likely going to whoop this guy's butt. Especially since he's down to one stock, it's probably going to be similar to what Andrew did in the previous uh, battle with him being Captain Falcon against Hero. It's most likely going to be uh, them immediately taking that stock. And Pip being a Kirby name is slightly disgusting, but that's okay. Yep. Most people kind of just look at you and go, really, you're a Kirby man. You usually get a disgusting look for it. I've seen it multiple times, especially when we've gone out. It's even more disgusting when you watch someone play, like Pip. Ooh, Kirby. Ah, Pip accidentally committed suicide right there. He misled John and Duffy. Uh oh Well, that's okay. As long as you can finish off his stock about losing the third stone that's true. Down. As long as Pip can get us get him down, that stock. There you go. Check on off at me. Got him up to 122% for damage. So, isn't that like closer to where it's like most moves would be able to finish yeah. them off on that stock? Yep, there you go. Like that. <laughs> like <laughs> that. <laughs> I thought uh, Bill was probably going to be looking for a down tilt test smash because that's generally what he does when I hit about 100%. It's just one and then two for death. Works pretty well, but I mean, dash attack also kills. <laughs> Alrighty. Good job on that one, Philip. Um, it's going to be interesting on what they're going to pick up next against Kirby as well, I feel. Because I'm wondering what they're going to send out against Pip. Yeah, because I want to say for a Kirby... Oh, was it? Yeah, a Kirby and a uh, Game Watch matchup, I want to say they're still even with that. Kirby doesn't really get too bullied by Game yeah. Watch, and Bully Watch doesn't get bullied by Kirby. It'll be interesting about what they pick. I have a feeling they'll probably still get Game and Watch. They look pretty comfortable with the character. Right. But we'll see what they do. Looking at it as well, would it be more of like if you have, uh, like we're gonna, I'm gonna use Link as an example because Link is probably like more of a like swordsman. I guess is probably the best way to put it. So he's gonna have a sword that's gonna be like a longer reach. So Kirby has to like get inside, get closer to them to attack. So. I also feel they might look into like maybe getting like a farther distance or like a wider range. Yeah, like four characters as well. Yeah. Hero. Oh, it's Hero again. Okay. Okay. Interesting face. So I have a feeling their game and watch was, game and watch is just their anchor player and probably so they're gonna be the third. Yeah, because we're seeing basically a similar lineup compared to last time. Um. Who's the other one on A team? Or B team? Uh, we have John, sad boy. The John. That's actually going right now. He plays Bowser and Cloud. Uh, I have a feeling since he's going in the back, he'll be playing Bowser. Yeah. Uh, that's who he said he's felt more confident with online, is just with Bowser in general. Mm -hmm. I mean, fun character. Yeah, because we didn't see that at all in the last game that I realized. So, yep. looking at it, if their third one's going to be a game and watch, it's going to be. It, Pip loses his two stocks here. It's going to probably be a game and watch against. Most likely a Bowser, like you said, but for John, so. But if Pip does end up taking out this hero right here and Game Watch comes out, I have a feeling John might be Cloud. Because I think he feels more kind of. Ooh, we can get some insider right information because I see John out there. <laughs> be like, what do you think? <laughs> yeah. Because, uh, I mean, even at that too, last week, John didn't get to play because they. That is true. Pips out there is so of it. Yeah, and then Andrew repeated the same thing afterwards, too. Andrew lost one stock. It was last week, Pip soloed their first uh, game, and then Andrew came out, lost one stock, and then soloed the rest of it. Um, so, seeing that, I kind of, like, find it interesting that we have a little bit more of a close matchup, in my opinion. Like, I like that we actually sat there and soloed through them last week, but I also like seeing a little bit of a battle, in my opinion, because I think that makes it a little more interesting for a game. It does. It definitely makes it more interesting interesting for a game, especially for a stream too at that, because I mean, if you're just watching someone get steamrolled, it's really, sure you can see some cool combos, but like, it's not really that fun to watch. It's so commentary even sadder. <laughs> <laughs> because it's just like, oh, there they go again, but, oh. I mean. Kirby won again. <laughs> wow. Oh, we took a stock. We are, we have him down to two stocks. Kirby's down to one right now. 
that's giving him a little bit of damage. Oh. Oh. Oh, the Ooh. first down swing. I think. Uh, Alright, so now we're gonna have John come out and play. So he's either going to be picking from what you're saying, Cloud or Bowser. Yeah. I have a feeling since he has five sacks, he'll probably be going Bowser more with this is I feel like that's the character that's the person when I talked to him he said he's felt more confident with online is just Bowser right I mean have your character I've seen him like he's very confident with Bowser from mm -hmm. what I've seen especially watching you guys like play outside of like practice or something mm -hmm. um we normally have the smash people like they're gonna group up and they normally like play over at one of the dorms and a lot of the times like, I, I realize sometimes you guys will goof off, but see, even though you guys still goof off, like, even though, like, I see that, it's still, like, you guys are still serious about it. Yeah, we're still serious. You guys still, serious. like, pick your mains or who you're most comfortable with, so. Yeah. Like, when we go random, that's definitely us just kind of screwing around, having some fun. But generally, if you see us pick a character, it's me, just because, you know, we want to play a little bit. Why not? Yeah. I feel that's another thing with Smash, is, like, if you're gonna, if you're gonna learn or if you're gonna play, you might as well, like, go as far as you are either comfortable with or as far as you want to explore. Yeah. Because, uh, I mean, if you get to know how to play a lot of characters, then you'll kind of know how to play that matchup. So it's really good to kind of just have a broad spectrum of knowledge for characters because then, hey, if you go against them, you might have a better idea of how to beat them. Uh, because lately, I've been learning how to play Duck Hunt, which, uh, Kendrick out there on 18, he was, he disagrees heavily with that, but <laughs> it teaches me patience. I need to learn patience in the game somehow. So I'm playing that to learn hand setups and all that. Well, we're still waiting on John to either pick his character. I have a feeling he might be having a little bit of a dilemma. Probably. I did see him go in there, so he's probably just trying to decide on who he's going to Mm-hmm. Oh, excuse me. has exited, so probably John's probably going to be selecting in a second. Ready? He's playing Bowser. <laughs> yep, alright. Alright, so Hero and Bowser matchup. Very, very interesting. Alright. Hero is down to his two stocks. We have John at his full three. Uh, this is unfortunately uh, SDSU's last three stocks, so if John is not unable to defeat him in this round, it's going to be a point for Skyhawks. Yeah, so John's got five stocks, he has to go through and two different people. Yep, and most likely it's going to be this It's this hero with two, and then it's whoever the last one wants to pick. They'll probably go Game & Watch again, I bet, because I, I feel like that's a good matchup for Bowser, though I don't know it fully. I feel like it's- ooh, good up smash there by- Nice Clon job, John! Oh. Ooh, John is- Maybe coming up John getting that. it! Uh, one thing that John loves to do, if you notice the last stock, he did uh, kind of like a sitting motion up in the air and slammed down. He loves that down beat. That, that motion right there. All right. He loves that because uh, if it hits shield, it will break it right away, which is a free up smash for Bowser. And with it being a drop kick, it's pretty much all, an automatic kill at legend 20%, right? Right. But, so John loves to go for it. And I mean, also, it's kind of funny in my opinion. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of a predictable move if you get hit by it. Hey, you can't really blame anyone. You, can't, you can't blame him. Ooh. It is funny. Ooh, okay. Oh, fully charged neutral B coming out. Hero to take the last, you know, last hit on John Stock there. That, that's okay. He still has two stocks. If he can, if he can at least get through this hero, I would be fine with that. As long as he can get through this hero without losing another stock, I feel like John has a pretty good chance. Absolutely. Yeah, with the whole down B thing, I can't say much because yes, I am also one to. Ooh, the F smash taking that. John's gonna need a little bit of a hole to dig himself out of now. But with the down B, I can't say much. I've got hit by four several times, so hey, it happens. Right. There we go. There you go, John! So, now John, in theory, has the three stock. He can't take it, lose a single stock in this next game, but... Absolutely. John, don't fail us. 
I know you can't hear me, but don't fail us. <laughs> no, no, no. I believe in him. I'm just saying, like, if he fails us, I, I will take Tony's job and eat his soul. <laughs> poor, poor child. <laughs> Bunny is saying in the chat, we believe in you, John. There you go. We're giving you motivation. Good support from the outer edge. Hello. Yo. He has to three stock. Yeah. That hero's kind of goaded, though. <laughs> I just wanted to come in and say that. I like hero a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Seth. <laughs> yep. Really apologize. We don't let Seth out in public that often. <laughs> he's in the in school I work for doing marching band. One of them, so he's or playing Smash, obviously. Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> uh, all right. So I'm gonna take a guess. So we're gonna see Bowser again from John. Yeah. Once you show a character in game, you have to play the character okay. through. Alright, so then it's basically up to the last character on the Skyhawks team that we're going to see. Yep. So, like you were saying, it's most likely going to be a Game & Watch, but there could also be like a different one. We're not, we're just not sure. Yeah. Just kind of have to wait and see what it is. But if I had to guess, it, that's probably their main would be Game & Watch. Probably, because I feel like you usually lead with your main character right. in your first match, because, hey, it's your best. Might as well right. go for it. If you have to have counterpick, you have to counterpick. Oh, oh that's a good Joker! Oh. Joker coming out. I mean, I guess okay. it's decent. Okay. That's Bowser interesting. Might. He may die a little quicker from Bowser, but he has the combo potential just because Bowser has a big body. He'll beat him in combos even longer. It's very interesting. I think I just started being like a little bit more Joker. I think the last practice that I came and watched you guys at, like I saw a couple people playing Joker. Yep. Uh, Julian and John were playing Joker. Yeah. Because uh, Julian wants to actually learn him on uh, you know, Man on C team. Right. So, hey, it's a good character, why not? Oh, absolutely. I don't think any of them would probably be a very bad character. It's just like, you have to be able to play them right as well. And sometimes there's just that learning curve. For right. Them. Looking at this, he's dealing quite a bit of damage so far. Yep. That's 70 already. Third goes Persona out, so he has pretty good kill potential if any smash attack. In, also, in my opinion, I don't know. I feel like the Persona up B, I feel like it's easier to catch than the normal Joker up B because of the whole uh, fling out and flip the stage. So right. you just get to dangle there for a second while the up B, you have to come up. There we go, John taking the first stock. There you go, John. Nicely done. Got two more to go. Ooh. Looking at this, I think. I think uh, John. There's a shield break I was talking nice about. Nice job, John. This will most likely kill because of Bowser. There you go. There we go. One more to go. And John is definitely in this. He could win it. Nice job, John. You have one to one. He either team has any like chance of winning. Yep. Looking at this. And most likely, I feel like John's probably won a little bit of the mental game right now because I mean, getting shield broke like that is kind of hard. It's hard to come back to it. I will say. There they are. Yep. yep. There's that uh, little delay we hear it out there. Come on, John. Come on. Ooh, John going for a second one. Oh. Ah, oh, there it is. The counter coming out. Yep. Ah. Uh, yes, that's the one. All right, that awesome. win is gonna be going to the Skyhawks. Close game, nonetheless. That was, that was a very, very good game, though. That was very close and very good. That was, John was very well done. It was very well done. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. But we're going to be back. So it's best of three. We still have one more game to go for the B team. Uh, let's hope. Yes, thank you for pointing that out, Bunny. We are all tied up. It is one to one. Uh, this next round is basically for all the marbles. So we will see who wins. I'm going to go actually get like, a drink now. Okay. I will be back. I'm leaving you guys alone with KC. I apologize. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I do kind of question who we're going to set up next. Because I have a feeling we'll probably lead with Pip. Because Pip did do a good lead out last time, and he seemed to have taken care of the win pretty well. But, you know, we'll see if they lead out with Andrew again. Yeah, I'm going to go 
Let's see if I can smack the ground real quick. Sad. You were really close, though. You were. I was close. I tried to read it again. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I, I saw that another down via ledge. It looked like you were going to try to read it. I knew it was going to roll. I'm like, okay, he's doing something at ledge. I have one option. My kill option. Oh, I have no more time because apparently I have to talk. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Bye, John. I am back, people. Yeah, John Lee? Uh, John's like, ooh, that's gonna be interesting. Well, it's time to see if the lead was Cloud or Bowser. It's gonna be a very interesting pick. That note, time to not hydrate myself again. That was something I was told to do during the last stream, and I did not do. Oh, yeah. They were like, make sure you hydrate, and I said, well, I have energy drinks, so I'm not going to be. Ooh, just water drinks. Not again. Yeah, I do wonder what John's gonna do this time for leading. This is gonna be very interesting because obviously Bowser's his main and his secretary is probably Cloud. Mm -hmm. That's a big, that's like major guess. I am unfortunate to say I will not be hydrating. <laughs> Just making bad choices, my good friends. I got my water out my bag. I mean, you probably go grab it. Okay, Casey's hydrating. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, this is. I like. I actually kind of like happening because that's actually giving me like a chance to actually learn <laughs> games. Like I played a couple games of Smash and League. I think I touched up a little bit on Smash before I actually started trying to play League. Mm -hmm. But both of them, I never really got like playing into, but like watching them and learning about them is still very much fun. Yeah. Especially when you are sitting here casting for it. It's very, very fun. Yeah, I mean, casting in general is kind of fun. It's like the one game I didn't know anything about was League, so I mean, it's been my first time. Actually, ever seen gameplay. I never have watched League or played in it. It's just something that never did and never interested me or anything. But hey, I mean, I might learn more for it, so if they want help with casting with all that, I can help with it more. Absolutely. I you guys are not going to Tri City, right? Uh, actually, Big House is coming up on this Friday, which is the majors down in Detroit. Oh, okay. So most likely, all the people at Tri City are going to be going down there, so there won't be too many people. It'll just be like a nice, probably a nice, like a nice circle right. for the kind of lowest ending players. If it's normally or what was my cat? Ooh. There we go. Coming out with the Cloud Hero. Cloud. Ooh, that's gonna be interesting. Okay. I pick with my caster on Friday. Mm -hmm. So, you have two people that know shit about League. <laughs> so I'm like, uh, here, here. Let's go. <laughs> and I love that we forgot that you were basically watching. I think we're doing a quick button test. They are starting, they're just electing to pretty much just let everyone do their thing first and let it go. Here, don't go right. first. There we go. Alrighty. I guess that's generally just a thing between characters that have charging abilities at the beginning. They kind of just charge their own. <laughs> so, that's just kind of how it starts sometimes. Oh, uh, means usually somebody one in the chat is like my main right there for hero. We love the RNG character. I mean, he's. Your main, Casey. Your main and secondary. Uh, I co named Belkin and Kazuya. And then I secondary Roy and Duck Hunt. So, I got a little bit of a weird character situation. You have but... a wide variety from what I'm hearing. John didn't get by the flag. <laughs> I have a feeling the air dot got buffered there. So Probably. Seat, but John can come back from it. Yep, here we go, another charging thing. Ooh, that's a nice take move. Ooh, Ooh that's. Uh oh. Well, as long as John can take a stock here, I mean, that's pretty good. 
I guess that's just the one goal probably for John at this point, is just to take a stock, so at least he doesn't one. need as much of a de deficit for everyone. One, maybe two. If, if he gets there and gets one, and then if he tries to get another, that would probably be great. Yeah. I mean, I feel like John could cheese out a second one. Ooh, missing the cross slash there. But one thing he's got to be careful of is the uh, hero neutral beat. Though he can't throw it out right now because he doesn't have 46. He has a somewhat decent chance right now because hero is right now is at 123%. So I think he has a pretty good chance. I just think he's playing it safe so he doesn't lose his last one. There we go! Oh, with the back right there. I have a feeling we'll probably see John trying to go out more off stage to get him at this point. Just mm -hmm. so he can take the stock early. Because if he dies, that's fine. But if he can just take the second stock, he right. should. Right. Uh, someone is also maining Ken in our chat as well. Oh, we got another Ken main in chat. Uh, on A team, we actually have a. Okay, not really. I wouldn't say a Ken main, but yes, he plays Ken a lot. He's really good with him. He is my bracket demon. <laughs> I, anytime during Triumph, if I came against Ken, I know. It's always uh, Ken that I was afraid of. <laughs> Phillips Kirby, I could get through it at least. It's just the Ken was always my problem. John's already gotten a kill percent, so I feel like Cross Slash should probably take it here. He's trying to do, I believe. Yep. I have a feeling he's trying to call it a roll right now, by the looks of it. I think it's bad that every time they're on the stage, I don't try to pay attention to the characters fighting. It's Animal Crossing, so I just like pay attention to the background, but it's like, I need to focus on the actual, like, people playing. <laughs> oh, there we go, cross slash poking shield after the back. Nicely hit. done! There we go. That is, that was actually very well played. That is perfectly fine, John took two stocks. That's, yep, that's fine. Yep. I hear him out there, cheering. Yeah, that's the one thing John loves to go for is Cloud. When he gets a uh, limit, he loves to go for that back air to side B. Generally, in most people, it'll, it'll catch him. It'll catch your little foot when it pops, pops Absolutely. out. Absolutely. So, that's the one thing I always notice that John loves to do. So, whenever I play against him in friendlies or in tournament, right. one thing I'm always looking for is just playing Cloud. Very nicely done on John for getting at least two of those stocks. So, mm -hmm. our next person playing. Looks like it'll be Oh, so it's gonna be Andrew. So we have Andrew playing next. So it's probably be Falcon. I don't really. He could be playing Aegis or Pyramitha. Um, but I have a feeling he'll probably stick with his Falcon for right now. Because that's the one character you know he's he's worked a lot on him. He's been playing with him probably for I don't know. Uh, okay, I actually don't know how many years he's worked with Falcon, but it looks like he's worked with it a lot. Basically, he's just had a lot of practice and a lot of time to get adjusted with them. Looks like uh, John Phillips need to take uh, the switch in our esports room out of the ring real quick, so Skyhawks could get in there. <laughs> Skyhawks cannot get in. No, we don't allow it now. <laughs> the game will be put on pause. Never. Oh yeah, so just so everyone knows, uh, A team should be starting right now with the beam 803. Either they're in the middle of banning stages or getting ready to go, so that stream should be up on the SPSU Cardinals Twitch, uh, Twitch channel if anyone would like to go watch. I'm gonna pull that one up on my phone just so I have it, like, off to the side. Mm -hmm. Just so, I, like, if any of you guys want, like, any updates on A team, I can most likely give you it. Or if you want, you can hop between those two streams as well. Oh, the battle's about to start. I think it's Falcon. Yeah, probably. Yeah, it's yep. Falcon. Falcon hero. So we gotta let hero kill himself twice, and then we can start the match. So we're gonna be going to Battlefield. This is a pretty good stage for Falcon, because of the upper platform, we can with up air trains and all that. Uh, hero, I feel like that's a pretty good stage for him as well, because he can air up air a lot better. But I also don't play here that often. <laughs> I also don't see too much turret play with him either, so... This is kind of going off general knowledge of... You know, kind of playing with them. Right. I have no knowledge of it, so I'm at least you have a little more knowledge than I do. That's what matters. Somebody with knowledge here about it. 
So yeah, I've generally gotten more knowledge about more of the random characters, like Olimar and Mosa, just for like their weird back. Oop, you're getting hit by the snooze, but because it's at low enough percent, you feel like a quick, which is nice. Oh, missing the IDJ up air, which is uh, it's a new, it's a nice tech because it's a double drop up air, which gives us a little bit more height on the up air. And with that, Andrew would usually get a kill move off of, but it didn't look like he was up right, so. Looking at it as well, like, I've noticed, like, when you guys are freely playing, like, I've realized a lot of the times when you're freely playing, you guys pick random characters. And I think that also helps, like, expand your uh, character knowledge. And not just, like, your knowledge, but, like, maybe uh, play characters that you play. Because, like you said, it's like you pick up maybe another character if you do that. So I think that's actually very, very... I was about to say, if one of uh, the other ones being main too as well, you can see how other people might play the characters, so you know, might know a different play style. Because uh, between me and Andrew with Falcon, we both play them a little bit differently, but close to the same console wise. It's just neutral, and I'm a little different than Andrew, I guess. Right. That's at least what most of the team people have told me, so I can play neutral is a lot different. <laughs> uh, Bunny is in the chat saying, uh, on rare occasions, he plays Pichu. Okay. I know that he's been trying to like play a lot of Jigglypuff as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, John has been. Oh, we have Smash taking and Not Jigglypuff Kirby. Oh, no, Smash is not Kirby. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, Jigglypuff is a fun character. You can usually carry him off screen and all that, which I mean, I find kind of fun. <laughs> uh, I've been able to do that a little, couple times. Um, nah, online. he's picked up Pip's playstyle and decided to go for Kirby. <laughs> so. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. Here around the first we have play. a Joker main as well in the chat. Okay. Uh, we had a guy named George on our A team that used to go here. Uh, do those George still come to Ashes here? Do you know? George? He might. Uh, oh, there we go. Falcon kick take in the stock. Nicely done. Good job, Andrew. I don't know if he can hear us, but good job. He might have the stream pulled up yeah, somewhere. Fuck up the stream. If he does, good job. I hope you hear me. <laughs> Nicely taken. Also, I'm so glad that when we hear when we get a stock taken on SDSU side, the first person I hear mm -hmm. is Tyler. Yep, it's always Tyler. <laughs> so uh, so loud. For Tony right now. Where is Tony? Uh, he said he wasn't gonna be here tonight. I have a feeling he either had something club, uh, not quite club wise, but either something uh, work wise, school wise. But he just said he couldn't make it earlier today, which you know that's cool. Oh. Dang. I mean, yeah, I guess we have to have somebody fill in for Tony. And I guess, unfortunately, it's my partner's loud voice. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I was, it was so funny. Uh, his parents ended up watching the stream and listening. Oh my god. <laughs> I guess they had a few things to say to you. Uh, no, 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 no. Like, they love me. Yeah, yeah. But... <laughs> They didn't realize it was me. <laughs> uh, okay. well, I mean, I guess that makes sense. Online, your voice does sound a little different. Yeah, my voice gets more annoying. I know. <laughs> uh, all right, so we're gonna see Falcon again. So we're gonna see. I'm. Um, we saw Hero Main yet again. So we're most likely gonna see Link. I have a feeling we'll probably see Link because of how well the Link did against Andrew last game. Yeah, we'll either see Link or the Game & Watch. Yeah. I also wonder if they have other people they play that they might just pull out just the third game. Just, here's a wild card. Yeah, here, yeah, we're not going to throw these two at you, but we're going to throw these at you. Yeah. I mean, sometimes that, that works really well. Sometimes it does. I mean, you're not expecting it. you got to learn new playstyle off. Like, you know, we have to fly. Are we yep. down to... Uh, is Andrew down to two stocks or one? Uh, he's on two stocks. Uh, Bunny, it's going to be 5-7. Should be five six since we took three stocks off three. Oh yeah, five six, buddy. Two, one, Thank you, darling. I was about to say because I swear to God, like our stocks are weird. Yep, we are seeing a link again. I don't think we're gonna see any wild card uh, characters, although. Just by seeing that, we're seeing like the repeat of their other uh, means. I don't know if they're gonna pull out like their secondaries or any wild cards, so. Mm -hmm. There we go, Andrew taking the first stock off of our quick. Good job, Andrew. I 
don't think that was Tyler that time, but that's okay. <laughs> no, I think that was Peyton, actually. Make sure my seven port plug is not dead. <laughs> Make sure the house still works and everything. And uh, the captain, too. Yeah. Mic is still working, I can see that right now. Uh, mouse! I had to plug it into another one because my first one is not working, so. Uh, we're still going. There we go. Oh, and then there we go. Okay. Aquatics do be kind of a cutie, though. Well, Aquatics not here, unfortunately. He's at home. He's sick. Is that Riley? Or is that someone else that you might know? I don't know. Uh, does Riley play Smash? Because if that if Riley does, uh, that's the one that said that they're a Joker main. I mean, I've played against Riley before, press start main, but. It perhaps may be Riley. <laughs> it per I'm gonna take a guess and say it is. Perhaps. But we are down to uh, one stock with uh, Andrew. And Link is down to one stock as well. <laughs> Bunny says that he is assuming it is Riley. As are we, don't worry. Link in the reverse up the um. This is a very very close match as well. This is like the second game. It's a very close match. Andrew got caught with the move dunk and then realized he didn't touch. Ooh, all but right. Not to lose, but I mean we're still three. So now we're four. gonna see Pip. So most likely we're gonna see Kirby again. Probably. Possibly Samus. The other character he tends to play, but I have a feeling they're probably anchored down with Kirby. That's it. Well, at least the link is down to one stock. So, whoever Pit plays, it's hopefully going to be an easy take that stock, and then we'll most likely see a game of watch at the end. Yeah. Just hoping here that Philip can take the one stock without losing any. If he loses one, that's okay. We can move on. Yeah. And then it's only two to three. So, he'll still have at least one stock that he would be up for losing. But we're gonna sit here and hope that he doesn't. So it looks like we're just waiting to see what Pip plays. Pip is going into the esports room right now, from what I can see. So he's gonna be going in there and he's gonna be picking in about a moment or two. We are at 3-4 for stocks, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes, you got them right, Bunny. Although, I guess the next uh, could be team we're going to come in and commentate. Probably Pip for... Probably. Uh, I think Pip said that he would come in here and do it. Um, we could throw John in here. It could be either one of them. I don't care. I just need someone who knows Smash mm -hmm. more than I do in here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think Pip said that he would be gladly coming in here for his commentating. I mean, it seems like he enjoyed it on Friday. But, yeah. Yeah, he absolutely loved it. I think he and I both had very much fun. And then we also had, like, uh, Tony joined us once in a while. JC. Kirby and Link. Yep, he's pulling out Kirby. Um, yeah, so Blue Hair John came in once in a while. We just had, like, a few of the league players come in and out. They talked with us as well, talked to the actual, like, viewers and stuff like that so I mean, having like the game knowledge in the room is very helpful yeah because i remember the one point with uh tony coming in to explain all the top mid and jungle where i was still circling top because i didn't hear him say mid at that point because <laughs> mid. <laughs> i know it's not, i didn't realize that you were sitting there pointing out i noticed and i was like <laughs> I didn't and you sat there and you're <laughs> like i said mid <laughs> I didn't hear that he switched it yet. Because I thought he was still talking about top a little bit. And I was like, nope, I guess he's not. <laughs> it was very funny. That was uh, made me laugh quite a bit. Because it was just, I said mid lane, and you ju we just see the mouse pause and then just slowly move over. Like, it's so sad. <laughs> and then you stayed right on top of it, which I mean, I'm fine with that. Mm -hmm. The uh, edge you can put on both uh, both ear phones just to make sure I could hear better. I only had the left one on at that point. <laughs> All right. Oh, Link is just bouncing around towards the ground, just 
to show he's losing his stuff. Having fun with those bomb covers on the bottom of the stage. Whoa! Alright, and here we go. Alright. We are back once again with Pip and his insane Kirby mate. Already <laughs> kicking Link's butt. <laughs> Little balloon boy. Well, I think. There we go, I think. He's gonna. Oh, no, he's not. He's gonna miss a second there. He can sit here and talk about it all a lot. There we so. go, don't be taking it. Nice job, Pip. Um, about like the because I hear you guys sit here and talk about like stage bands. Is it like are there only specific ones that you can play when you're in competition, or is it just like based on like what both teams don't really want to play on? Uh, so in the ECAC, they have the rule book that actually specifies what stage they can play on. Oh, okay. so you get five starters and counters. So at the beginning, so like before any game started for that match, uh. Home team will get the choice of whether they ban first or second. Usually you'll take banning first because that means you get to pick where you go. But the person who starts the ban will ban one stage from the starters. The other team will ban two from the starters. And then from the final two that are there, the uh, team who originally started the ban will get to pick between two of where they go. But then after games go on, the person who you know won the set and is still alive, they'll get to ban three stages between all the starters and counters. So it'll leave just you know six stages for you to pick right uh and i know what pip's fans always are he loves to ban battlefield small battlefield and hollow bastion it's the filth classic <laughs> <laughs> for anyone on the smash team if you if you ever play them or anything like that he'll either tell you that or if it's one of us he'll goes he always goes you know my bands are it's just it's what he wants because <laughs> for kirby with his uh forward throw the battlefield hollow bastion and small battlefield uh platforms all of them occur right when Kirby does a forward throw. He'll pop up on a stage and can't do a combo. So he'll get rid of those so it's no longer a problem and doesn't have to worry about it. Right. He'll kind of do his own little thing. I've just noticed that, like, you guys are normally on, like, a same range or, like, the same variety of stages. And I always hear you guys talking about, like, oh, let's ban these stages. So it's, like, it's probably a good thing to, like, ask about that. Yeah. Because uh, whenever we're just playing together and all that, we have the nine stages kind of in a random stage list. Where mm -hmm. We just click random. It'll just pick any one of the nine. We'll call it mm -hmm. a day. It's, I mean, it's good to learn all the stages. Right. I may not like Hollow Bastion, but I'll play on it. Right. Uh, Do you think we're going to see a game and watch? I truly don't know. It's, uh, I have a feeling they might switch off a game and watch for Kirby, but... For like a sortie, because I mean that's a little extra range against Kirby, because Kirby struggles to get in because his little stumpy legs and all that. He's just a small little amoeba. <laughs> it's right. a game of watch. All right. So they're gonna stick up their gun. So both sides are starting off with three stacks. So it's a basically winner takes all in this game. It's gonna be very very interesting with this Kirby and game and watch again. Two light floatyish characters. I have a feeling Game Watch will probably be throwing out a lot of forward air, which is the uh, bomb that he tends to throw. So like that right there. He'll probably tend to throw that out a lot, because, I mean, he can catch Kirby. It's a good right. move for, you know, just pop the little balloon. I've noticed, is there's always, a, like, a counter above him as well. Is that just, like, from how many combos that he does or something? Uh, so that's a side view. It's called Judge. Uh, it will kind of pick a number one through nine at random, with uh, none, nine... No, I'll we'll start with from one. So one just deals damage directly to Game Watch, 12% right to him because it's a bad roll. Two will deal like 3% and build knockback to the player. Three will do backwards, will hit them behind. We'll do little damage, but we'll knock them backwards. Four is just more damage. Five is like electric attack. Ooh, okay, Kirby's still living somehow. But the main number for Game Watch to watch out for is a nine because that's just a kill move and kill from 20 mid stage, no matter like who you are. It's really strong, but, I mean, it's a 1 in 9 chance. It's just a very, like, it's a gamble with that. Yeah. Okay, Kirby has lost stock. Yes, we have 32! <laughs> so, I guess one thing that doesn't, that really doesn't help build too much, but with Game & Watch, you can't really kind of, like, suck cut them, so which is, like, when Kirby just inhales, you can kind of walk off stage and then blitz to him, and usually most people die. Right. But, I mean, Game & Watch, Game & Watch can come back from that. He's got a pretty good recovery, and I don't think he's one that can blitz to him out. 
so I have a feeling we won't see Philip be going for that at all. But he'll, oh, there we oh, go. Oh, there we go. Nice job, Pip. Two and two for stocks. But I have a feeling we'll probably see Philip go for a lot of the down deep with stone. Right. So, I mean, it's a funny move in my opinion, but easily punishable if he miss. Right. Oh, wow. Yeah. Ooh, good DI there by Philip. Come on, Pip. Come on. Ooh, nice cat going through the corridor. That was kind of surprising. Thought it would have just ended here, but not really killed him, but like stopped the, uh, He's lost another stock. They are one and two. Oh, this is the tournament stock for Philip. We have two more stocks to go through for Pip. Good attack there by Philip. What I have a feeling right here is that Pip is going to take this stock. He's going to take one of them, and then it's just going to be a one on one stock. That's what I feel like this game is going to turn into. Yeah, I guess the only problem is closing out the stock right now for Philip. Right. So it looks like he's looking for back here a lot, because he's throwing about a few of them. Ooh, that's there we go! Alright, one on one. It was a good DI by the Game of Watch, but I guess it wasn't enough. I mean, one I'm good combo for Kind Phillip. of watching the door. <laughs> I know this is like, I'm pretty sure this is on time streaming, but I'm watching the door to see if it comes out. I mean, I think for us, we still get it at like the regular time for pretty much when the game ends and we're right. I know they get it out there. Uh, the people that are watching the stream out in the uh, student life, I know that they're a few seconds behind. So obviously, it's like we sit here and we're cheering, mm -hmm. and then 10 seconds later, you hear them cheering out there. Yeah. Very delayed reactions, in my opinion. I want to say it's like a 30 second delay is what we have between the two. Probably. It kind of ranges because sometimes with Twitch it'll be like, oh, it's a five second delay. Or sometimes, oh, it's a 30 second delay. You just gotta kind of like keep an eye on it. Yep. Oh, dash attack. Ooh, uh, oh. oh. Dash attack's gonna take it for the second time. Alright, looks like uh, Skyhawks have taken this one. Uh, wrong one, buddy! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Skyhawks will take this set, so they'll be going home with the win tonight. Yep. I mean, the uh, over B team, they did really good. The first game was great. That was... <laughs> Buddy, is everything okay? <laughs> you having problems there, buddy? Great plays by everyone. That was, those are very great plays. Those are very like good, good games. The second and the third games are very, very close, so. Mm. Very, very close. I guess one thing I'll just have to remember tonight is when we do scores, I guess we have to do every single game and to input scores, like score updates and all that. Yeah. But you have to remember because. Pep has come out. He has exited. Yes, very close sets, well played. Uh, congratulations, Skyhawks. It looks like you're going to be taking home that win tonight. Uh, again.